Welcome to Romany's Realm. I'm Romany and I'm off to a really slow start to 2023 and not a great start to 2023. I usually like to start my new year at Imolk just because I like to have January free. It's my birthday month. It's post Christmas. So it's always very stress inducing and tired and, you know, all the things. I like to have January to just plan my year. And usually I choose that. But this year I didn't choose it. I actually wanted to get going on things and phenomenal cosmic shenanigans ensued. <laughs> uh, January really decided to FUQ around and find out. Last year, those of you who've, who've been here a while will remember that last year there was family health stuff that happened. Uh, I don't go into details, but that's all I, I ever put out there. But uh, this year we have two lots of family health stuff happening that both cropped up in January. And one of them is a recurrence of last year. So now I've got two family members going through things. And then if you follow me on Instagram, then you will know that unfortunately over Christmas, Scooby took a turn for the worse. He... Admittedly, he was 17. He would have been 18 in March. So it wasn't entirely a surprise. He had congestive heart failure. He had um, liver issues because of it. You know, he was having all sorts of problems. He was deaf. He was mostly blind. He was losing his mind a little bit. He had a bit of doggy dementia going. But he was happy and he continued to live life to the fullest. But over Christmas, he took a turn for the worse. And um, unfortunately, in January, he basically went into hospice. There was nothing more they could do for him except keep him comfortable. And he went to Rainbow Bridge on the 13th of January. So it's just me and Maddie now, which, of course, is it's sad. I miss Scooby. She misses Scooby. She's been very depressed the last two weeks. But also it's a bit of a relief because he was getting so old that there was literally nothing more we could do. And it was getting to the point where we couldn't even keep him comfortable. He passed away on his own terms at home with me and Maddie. Pretty much went in his sleep. And for that, I am very grateful. Uh, at least there's that. <laughs> so just me and Maddie this year. Slow start to 2023. February, it's currently February the 3rd when I'm recording this voiceover. But so far fingers crossed, touch wood, etc. February seems to be going okay. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I probably shouldn't say that, but there it is. What you're seeing on the screen here is me working on my goals page for 2023. Yes, I said goals page for 2023. Roxanne Coble over on by Bun, she is finally rubbing off on me and has convinced me to do a goals page. Even if you don't stick to your goals, even if you don't complete your goals, doesn't matter. You've got goals, you've got somewhere to focus and aim, and you've got that drive every day to say, okay, well, I should work on this a little bit. And for whatever reason, this year I really felt like I needed some, not really goals to accomplish, but things to aim for, because I feel like I've been wandering in the wilderness for a couple of years. I'm sure a lot of us feel a bit like that, that through the pandemic and the post-pandemic, and I mean, is this is it still a pandemic? Does anybody actually know anymore? Sometimes it feels like the world's going to hell in a handbasket, only they didn't issue the handbaskets. Bait and switch on the handbaskets. It's been a long couple of years, during which I've done a lot of work on myself. I did a lot of shadow work in 2020. I think a lot of us were forced to do shadow work in 2020. And that continued into 2021. And last year, I spent a lot of time having a massive clear out, just getting rid of a whole load of stuff in my house that I just didn't want anymore. I'm still kind of working on that, but I'm at the very tail end of it now. I'm actually at the point where I feel like I haven't got much more to do. And then I can move on to really making the house the way I want it to be you know turning it into a home as opposed to just a studio and a bedroom so that's where I'm up to with goals and what I want to achieve for 2023 
I have kept it very simple. I split it into personal and work and I had a few numerical targets that are just numbers I pulled out of it, out of the air really and a few other goals that are more sort of life goals and things. On a personal level I want to do a few things like leaving the house. Like many of us introverts I was like what? It's illegal to leave your house? Woohoo! <laughs> awesome! And then I got into this comfort zone of I don't need to leave my house, so why should I? And now I'm just lazy, frankly. I, I am just lazy and I, I need to start getting back out and doing the things that I enjoy. Taking Maddie for a walk, going to the park, wandering around the shops looking for inspiration and things, going out urban sketching, all that kind of stuff that I just, I really enjoy it. It doesn't involve being around other people, but it does involve actually leaving my house and and going to a different place. You can't keep going and going and going and not refilling the well. And I feel like my well is running dry and I need to start just getting back out into nature, if nothing else. Being out, looking at buildings, looking at what's in the shops, looking at fashion trends, looking at fabric, you know, just all sorts of things that inspire me to do what I do. As part of those goals, and in order to give me a, not a reason to go out, but you don't really need a reason to go out, but as, a, as an addition to that. I want to spend more time with Maddie, obviously. She's going to be 12 in April and, you know, she's getting on a little bit. I want to spend as much quality time with her as I can, especially now it's just the two of us. And I also want to get up and walk more. I do not do enough exercise. I know this. I've always been overweight but very healthy and I'm still reasonably healthy. Despite thyroid issues, I am still quite healthy, but I am very very unfit and that needs to change. On the work side I'm aiming to paint more this year because that's what I really enjoy. That's my word of the year and most of my work stuff is getting back to things I enjoy. Painting for the sake of it, painting animals, creating finished pieces of artwork instead of things that I do on live streams that I never quite get around to finishing that aren't really worth finishing because they were created in two hours instead of spending my time figuring out how to do them and things like that. I want to make art for myself because I think as a as an artist and as a teacher it can be very tempting to just constantly be making demos, showing people how they could do things. Instead of actually doing them yourself, you show other people how they could do them and then they go off and do them and you show some more people how they could do them. It gets repetitive, it gets boring and I feel like I've got into a rut. So this year we've we've switched things up on Patreon and we're doing a little bit more art for the sake of art. You know, playing in our journals. Journaling is coming back. I haven't journaled in years and I really want to get back into it. Apart from my five year, I keep my five year up. But other than that, you know, I haven't really journaled. My planner has gone to the wayside because I barely have anything to plan anymore. So what's the point, you know, and I want to get out of that mindset. I need to because I'm hitting stasis now and I need to stop that. As part of this rejuvenation, if you like, I have also started new books. In fact, almost everything I'm using this year is a new thing for this year because I feel like a lot of the sketchbooks and things that I've been trying to finish have very old stagnant energy from 2020, from when we were stuck at home wondering when the world was going to end. <laughs> and again, I want to I want to get rid of that energy. You know, like cutting your hair after a bad relationship. You just want to get rid of that old energy and feel free again. So that's the kind of energy I'm bringing into 2023. I am going to do a separate video on what I'm using this year, my general setup. It's nowhere near as structured as it usually is. It's essentially a lot of different sketchbooks to just play in. And I will talk to you more about my word of the year, enjoy, at that point, because so far, 2023 has not been particularly enjoyable and I haven't been able to get into that mindset. But this month, that's what I want to do. I want to enjoy what I do. I want to get back to doing what I enjoy and finding the joy in life again and finding the joy in documenting life and writing it down and, and recording those little snippets of things that in 2020 just suddenly stopped being significant. I didn't mean this video to be such a downer. It's supposed to be upbeat. I'm starting 2023 with a an upbeat mindset. <laughs> but apparently <laughs> 2022 is still holding on for grim death. I'm hoping to cut ties with 2022 fairly soon and move on to bigger and better and much more fun things.
Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. Hi. Hi, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs>